Hi and welcome, Sven here, and today we're gonna have some fun. Not that we didn't have fun last time. Today we're just gonna point and laugh at how silly Swedish can be. I have some English sentences that we're just gonna translate to Swedish. Easy enough, right? Let's go! We'll start with the sentence I was wrapped in a blanket. Now to Swedish. Jag var inlindad i en blankett. Swedish speakers, you already know. Back to English. I was wrapped in a form. Like a paper form you fill out. Yeah. We can all see what's happened here. Blanket and blanket are not the same words. They look very similar, but in meaning there's just no correlation at all. So the correct translation would be Jag var inlindad i en filt. Filt. Filth. Wrapped in filth. Anyway, you get it? Good. Next one. I will get a colonoscopy. Truly a sentence you need to know. Jag vill få en koloskopi. Seems alright. Nothing's wrong here. I want to get a colonoscopy. Okay, something was very wrong here. Um, yeah, as you have figured out, will and vill, not the same thing. Because that would make sense. So instead it would be Jag kommer att få en koloskopi. So kommer is will. It also means come, which makes sense. And we're not here for that. So next, I was permitted by my boss to go to the conference. Jag blev permitterad av min chef för att åka på konferensen. So looking back at the previous examples, the mistranslations happen with the words that are similar to each other. So here it would be either permitted or conference. Let's find out. I was laid off by my boss to go to the conference. Brilliant stuff there, boss. So, yeah, the correct translation is Jag fick lov av min chef att åka på konferensen. So, fick lov av was permitted by. So again, yeah, permitted, permitera, no correlation at all, just I allow you to not come to work. Uh, I don't know. Wish my boss would say that. Next, I should go to visit my friend in America. Jag borde gå och visitera min vän i Amerika. I should walk and frisk my friend in America. D -d -d don't do that, please. So yeah, it should be. Jag borde besöka min vän i Amerika. Besöka is to visit. You don't need to say go. I mean, you don't need to do that in English either, but I did so to bring up the fact that go is walk and go is åka. So, jag borde åka och besöka min vän i Amerika. Eh, bit redundantly redundant, don't need to say that, but still, fun to bring up. That's what it is about today, having fun, right? Yeah. So, so fun. And also, frisk to pat down. Visitera, yeah. I don't even know what that is. That's just stupid. You think I would know, since I'm your teacher and all, with all the knowledge? <laughs> no. And to end it, we'll top it off with one fantastic sentence. If permitted, I will bring a blanket when I go visit my friend. And we'll skip Swedish and go straight to English, because that's what we want. If laid off, I want to bring a form when I walk to frisk my friend. Actually kind of makes sense. I mean, it is the actions of an insane person, but it's not just incoherent rambling. So, it's just someone who lost their job and now they don't trust their friend. Maybe the friend got them fired. And that's all for today. Hope you learned something. If not, then... Okay. Hope to see you next time. Take care. <clears throat> Nah, no worry, I won't throw up. <laughs>